Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design connections in RAM Connections Standalone. For this particular video, we're going to design a tubular mitered knee connection to a joint that's already been created in RAM Connection Standalone. Now, if you're new to this type of joint, you can create it by going to the Home tab in the ribbon toolbar, clicking on the new icon, and we're looking for either the tubular mitered knee from the BCW beam column web or the beam column flange option. Both of these are assigned tubular members as the beam and support. Now the tubular mitered knee connection is a combined connection, which means it's capable of resisting both shear and moment forces, which are already imposed on our currently selected joint. When you're ready to assign a connection to this joint, go to the Design tab of the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Assign icon. In the Connection Assignment dialog, you're going to notice that your filters are already appropriately set to the type of joint you currently have selected. Here you can see we modeled our tubular mitered knee as a beam column flange joint. Let's go ahead and scroll on down. You're going to notice that our different connection types are organized by the types of forces that they can resist. Now, as mentioned earlier, the tubular mitered knee is a combined connection, so we'll see it in the combined shear and moment section. Let's go ahead and select the appropriate connection, click the assign button, and then we'll go ahead and click close. Now we can see that a tubular connection has been assigned to this particular joint. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. And what I'm gonna notice right away is that in the joint selection area, the interaction ratio has been indicated. Now, although the interaction ratio is less than 1.0, it is in yellow, meaning that a warning was issued for this particular connection design. To take a closer look at the connection, let's go to the connection pad. To access the connection pad, we can select the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Edit icon, and then edit our combined connection. So here is our connection in the connection pad. Now over in the left-hand side of the connection pad, you're going to notice all the parameters that you used to define this connection. And we're specifically going to take a look at the tubular mitered knee parameters. Here we can see that we are able to specify the stiffening plate material and size if required, and also specify your welding electrodes. Now for this particular connection, we've already produced a warning. So before I start modifying any of those parameters, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the calculations through the connection report. To access the report, go to the results icon within the connection pad. Here, I'll be able to see my steel connection results, which will display any errors or warnings that were encountered. For this particular model, I can see that my plate size is not quite large enough. As I scroll down, I can see any of the other parameters and checks that were performed. Let's go ahead and close out of the report now that we have more information. So for a mitered knee connection. We can go ahead and model it as a directly welded connection or with a connection with a stiffening plate. And you're going to notice the default has been to add that stiffening plate. And the reason we were getting a warning is because that stiffening plate is just too small. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to investigate whether or not this connection can work without the stiffening plate. To do that, we're going to go over to the general information, unselect the stiffening plate. Now here I can see that without the stiffening plate, we were able to get a satisfactory connection design. If I want some additional information, let's go to the results area again. And I can review the full connection report. I can see that any warnings from the geometric considerations area have now been erased. And I can see the design checks are yielding a connection design with an interaction ratio less 
than 1.0. If I would like some additional information regarding this design checks, I can go up to the ribbon toolbar and click on the view formulas icon. What this will do for me is it'll go ahead and show me all of the equations and variables that were used to arrive at these results. Let's go ahead and close out of this report. Now the last thing I'm going to go ahead and take a look at while within the connection pad is the DXF view. Now in RAM connection standalone, you can view and export DXFs and customize these DXFs as needed. At this point, we did make changes to this particular connection design. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the save icon, and then I can go ahead and close out of the connection. And we're going to see that it was updated in the main interface. At this point, this concludes our process for assigning a combined connection to a tubular mitered knee joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.